football to Leicester in the East Midlands of England, of the United Kingdom. It's the King Power Stadium. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. Thank Premier League football for you very shortly. It's Leicester City against Aston Villa. Well, what an arena we've got here. Perfectly suited to football and two very noisy sets of fans. What a backdrop that should be to what on paper should be a, an entertaining match. This is the Leicester City lineup. Kasper Schmeichel starts in goal. Ricardo Pereira plays alongside Ben Chilwell at the back. Yuri Tielemans plays with Wilfred Ndidi in midfield. Jamie Vardy is the lone striker today. Room for the cross. Excellent reading of those danger signs by the defender at a crucial moment. Conor Huriha. Now he can cross it. Grealish. They've been striving to get this sort of attack going and it looked on there and then the interception came in. Cleverly done. It's Jamie Vardy. He's going to tie his luck. How has he cut that one out? His reactions there were sensational. In goes the corner. It's not really away from the threat here. Went for the cross. The defender made the block. Ricardo Pereira. Tielemans. It's gone out for a throw. Time to get the ball in. Tielemans. Tielemans! Off the keeper, back into play. Neatly intercepted. This referee's got a good perception of when and when not to play the advantage. He's chosen to play it here. The referee has blown and he's given the free kick. Let play go, and now it's stopped. Here comes the yellow card. Yeah, you could see the ref had seen it, but he wanted to give the team a chance. Tielemans! He's had a bang at goal, and uh, I must say, credit for that, but nowhere near. Yeah, poor effort, really, for a player of his ability. Oh, Madison. Ndidi. Tielemans can finish it off well that's the opener and it's been coming the better side but you have to score when you're on top we wondered whether they would do that but they have done and they've done it in fine style so the first goal it's 1-0 McGinn. Connor Hurihan. It's unlike him, really, to play the ball straight to the opposition. Can really get at the opposition here. Good width in the attack here, looking for a cross at the end of it. Well, it is a chance to relieve some of the pressure here by simply having the ball now the foxes can't quite get hold of the ball as much as they would like but what you would say about this team is the way that they've used the possession it's a quick break and there it is it's all about the weight of the pass here he hardly had to break stride and he finished it emphatically It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Iose Perez. Vardy. Ndidi. He will be furious with himself for such a poor pass. 
too much pressure for the opposition who've lost the ball saw the pass and dealt with it Frederic Gilbert McGinn Gilbert well now they've got the ball what are they going to do with it Can they move on from this wide area where there is room? Well, only two more minutes to be added on by the referee now. Trying to find the opening, which would be so crucial. And that's the half-time whistle from the referee. 1-1 at the break. Whistle from the referee. And we're off and running again for the second half. McGinn. It's good work, this, as they chase a go-ahead goal. An attack that wasn't quite that in the end. Ndidi. Quick-witted and quick in his movement, too, to intercept there. McGinn trying to pick out someone in the centre it's a chance well taken and they now lead the game well that's the sort of cross that they've got at the end of a good passage of passing the sort of cross Alan you'd have loved to have been on the end of oh not many I mean he didn't have a whole lot of room there did he he didn't actually beat his player but he just swung it round perfectly and we restart the game 2-1 Aston Villa going to make a change here. It's Jamie Vardy. Vardy! Hit the post, back into play. I think he saved them there with that interception. They're playing well at the moment, and unlucky that they hit the frame of the goal. Could easily have equalised them. We've had an hour gone here, and still 30 minutes left. Connor Hurihan. Just a case of finding the spare man, as always available in their own half, and the opposition letting them do this at the moment, although they are trailing. Well, he seemed to see a pass there that none of us could see from where we're commentating from. Vardy. And the referee's read that perfectly. They can play on even though it was a foul. Yeah, I think he's going to get a yellow card after this move, but he should let the move go on. Good defending. Just trying to catch the player in possession. It's hard to shut up shop, even with a substitution here, but that's what he's going to try to do, I think. Marvellous Nakamba. McGinn. Wesley. Madison. Telemans. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. There's going to be some uh, alteration to the structure for Villa. A substitute's going to come on. Break quickly when they get possession. Still progressing on the break. Patiently building up. Trying to get the cross in. Well blocked by the defender. Held off the opponent well. Slippery play here. Maybe he'll cross it here. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. Good football between these two. Nice passing. Can finish it off. Well, they could have been... Well, they have cleared the danger. It was a decent opportunity, I think. Well defended, not just getting across. He thought quickly as well. Keep an eye on the watch, because we haven't got that long to go. And the team know that. They can't get too desperate, though. They need to keep some sort of poise about their play. Yeah, they've got to keep the shape. I mean, it's not time to throw the centre-half and the goalkeeper forward yet, but we're approaching that moment. Connor Hurihan, Jack Grealish. 
Three minutes left of the 90-minute match. James Madison. Neatly intercepted. And the verdict on added time is two minutes. This does look promising. Oh, time to get the cross now. So easy in possession. And there's the interception. And the referee brings it to a halt. Is it a case of back to the drawing board after a defeat like this? I think there were positives to take out of it, but... Um... The finishing wasn't quite up to scratch on the day when it mattered once or twice they snatched at chances.